Have you ever taken a sip of Pepsi and wondered, how exactly does this fizzy magic get inside the bottle? How do millions of bottles get filled, capped and shipped, all without a single drop out of place? Today, we're going behind the curtain. Welcome to the modern Pepsi factory, where high-speed machines, secret formulas, and decades of innovation come together to create one of the world's most iconic beverages. Before we dive into tanks, tubes, and robots, let's rewind a bit. It all started in 1893 with a pharmacist named Caleb Bradham in New Bern, North Carolina. Originally called Brad's Drink, it was created to aid digestion. But in 1898, Bradham renamed it to Pepsi-Cola, inspired by the word dyspepsia, which means indigestion. Yup, Pepsi was basically stomach medicine. That became a billion dollar soda empire. Fast forward to today, and Pepsi is consumed in over 200 countries with an estimated one billion servings every day. That's right. While you're watching this video, thousands of cans are being sealed, packed, and delivered around the world. Let's start with the syrup, the heart of every Pepsi bottle. The exact recipe? Still a closely guarded trade secret. Only a handful of people know the precise combination of caramel, sugar, citrus oils, vanilla, and something extra that gives Pepsi its signature taste. Just like Coca-Cola, Pepsi keeps its flavor base concentrated and then it's blended at bottling facilities across the world. This ensures that whether you're drinking Pepsi in New York, Tokyo, or Cape Town, it always tastes the same. Magical, right? Did you know that over 85% of what you drink in a bottle of Pepsi is just water? But not just any water. Pepsi uses ultra-purified, nano-filtered water. Before mixing anything, the water goes through reverse osmosis, carbon filtration, UV sterilization, and demineralization to ensure absolute consistency. Because any impurity can throw off the balance, flavor, and shelf life. Now let's step inside the bottling plant, a place where science fiction becomes reality. Giant stainless steel blending tanks carefully mix the purified water with the secret syrup and carbon dioxide. The mixture is chilled to near freezing temperatures, around 0 to 4 degrees Celsius, which helps the CO2 dissolve better, giving Pepsi its iconic fizz. And this is no slow drip process. Modern Pepsi factories can produce up to 1,200 bottles per minute. That's 72,000 bottles an hour. Once the formula is carbonated, it flows into the filling machines. Imagine rows of bottles, gliding like dancers, under a synchronized ballet of robotic arms. The nozzles descend, grab the necks, and hiss. Each bottle is filled with exactly 355 milliliters of Pepsi. The precision is so tight, even a one milliliter variation can cause a quality reject. And yes, it's all contact. No human hands touch your Pepsi until you pick it up from the shelf. Let's talk packaging. Most Pepsi products are packaged in PET plastic bottles, which start off as tiny preforms. They look like mini test tubes. These preforms are heated, blown into molds, and cooled in a split second to form the bottles we know. Pepsi also uses aluminum cans and glass bottles, depending on the market. And fun fact, glass bottles are still considered by many to be the best tasting version because they don't interact with the beverage inside. Before bottles are filled, they're thoroughly cleaned using high pressure rinsing systems, even if they're newly made. After filling, bottles are immediately capped using a rotary capping machine that seals in the pressure to preserve carbonation. Then, the labeling begins, thousands of labels per minute, applied with laser precision. 
Each bottle gets its signature blue, red and white branding, perfectly aligned and camera checked. Every Pepsi factory has a dedicated quality lab on site. Technicians check CO2 levels, sugar content, acidity, flavor, consistency, and even bottle strength, if even one parameter is off. The batch is rejected. That's why Pepsi tastes the same whether it's in a bottle, can, or fountain drink. Once capped and labeled, the bottles head to the packaging section. Here, machines wrap them in packs of 6, 12, or 24 using robotic arms and shrink wrap tunnels. They're palletized, scanned, and stacked using automated forklifts that drive themselves using lighter technology, like mini Teslas inside the warehouse. Then, they're shipped across cities, states, and countries within hours, from raw water to your fridge as little as 48 hours. PepsiCo is actively working on reducing plastic waste. In many markets, it now uses 100% recycled PETI bottles, and it's investing in paper-based bottles, biodegradable caps, and plant-based plastics. Each bottle is designed to be lightweight, recyclable, and safe, without compromising taste. And remember, the next time you toss your Pepsi bottle in the recycling bin, it could come back to life as another bottle in just a few weeks. So, the next time you twist open a bottle, hear that fizzy hiss and take a refreshing sip of Pepsi. Remember the journey behind it, from filtered water and secret syrups to precision machines and robotic perfection. Your drink is the result of over a century of science, culture, and innovation. And honestly, that's pretty cool. Liked the video? Drop a comment with your favorite soda brand and tell us what product you want us to cover next. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss a factory deep dive. This is Factory 101. See you next time behind the machines.